How to use Brevo. Brevo tutorial for beginners. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Brevo. Brevo tutorial for beginners. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kindly search Brevo.com. Or you can simply type on Google Brevo and kindly click the first link that come up and you will be directed in here. And if you have no idea what is Brevo, you can just scroll down and read about this platform, in which it says here that it is a marketing platform in which you can start to create a smart campaigns and lasting relationship. It is also a sales platform in which you can follow your leads and close more deals. And aside from that, this platform also offers for conversations and transactional email. And if you scroll down below, you will see other details and description about this platform, Brevo, such as this information that says over 500,000 plus customers trust Brevo. And after discovering what this platform offers, you can now start creating your account or log in with your existing Brevo account. To sign up, kindly click this button on top right corner that says sign up free. But if you already have an account, you can just click this login button. But since I don't have an account yet, I'm going to click sign up free, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here. And from here, in order to create your account, it says here that no credit card needed, because all you need to do is to fill out your email address and to create password that at least eight characters long. Or in other options, you can sign up using your Google account or sign up using your Apple ID. And now proceed by clicking create an account button. And after that, just fill out or answer this recaptcha, which is for security purposes in order to confirm or verify that you are not a robot. And after that, you will be directed in here, in which it will show you that you need to verify your email address in order to successfully create your account. So just go to your email inbox and confirm your email by clicking this button in which you will be directed in here. And from this tab, you are required to fill out this personal information, such as your first name, your last name, your company name, or even your website domain. However, the website domain is optional and not necessary to fill out. And after that, just proceed by clicking the next button, in which upon clicking on it, the next thing that you need to do is to provide your information about your company such as your country name, your address, your zip code, and even the city you're into. And after that, just proceed by clicking the next button. In which from here, you are required to fill out all of the required information, such as this question, how many people are you in your team? So just choose on the list and select your answer. So let's say I'm gonna choose two to 10 employees. And from this question, how many contacts do you have? And same process to choose and select your answer. And below that, you are also required to fill out whether your answer is yes or no to the question if you are selling online. And below that, you can check this box if you don't want to receive product updates, marketing tips, or promotional content from Brevo. And after that, you can proceed by clicking the next button in which upon doing so, you will be directed in here. And from here, you need to validate your phone number. So kindly enter your mobile or phone number, in which it says here that it will undergo to set up a two-factor authentication in order to secure your account. And after that, the next thing that you need to do is to confirm your phone number. And you can do that by entering the verification code that has been sent to your phone number. But if you still haven't received it, you can just click Resend Code and proceed by clicking Verify. And after that, you will be directed in here, in which you can choose to upgrade your marketing platform. And they offer a free account, starter, business, and Brevo Plus account, in which if you choose a free account, you can discover Brevo with its benefits of 300 emails a day for a price of $0 per month, with unlimited contacts, 
and other benefits such as 300 emails per day, customizable email templates, drag and drop editor, transactional email, and SMS and WhatsApp campaigns. However, if you choose the starter account, it is ideal for growing businesses in which you can have 20,000 emails per month amounting to $25 per month and with unlimited contacts. While other benefits of this account is everything in free plus from 20,000 emails per month and it has no daily sending limit, no Breville logo and you can have a basic reporting and analytics and finally an email support. However, by choosing the next offers, which is the business account, for the price of $65 per month, you can have a benefits of everything in Starter, plus other benefits below. While for the next offer, which is the Breville Plus, for the price of $1,000 per month, you can have the benefits of these offers combined. But in this tutorial, I'm going to use the free account. So kind of click this button that says continue with free plan. And you will be directed in here, in which on the home page of Brevo, you will see other options on the left side panel, such as the contacts, in which you can manage your contact database and perform actions to them. You can also import contacts and create contact. And in order to import your contacts, you can just click this import contacts button, which is located on the top right corner. And from here, you have two import options, such as to upload a file, and to copy and paste, in which by selecting upload a file, it will enable you to upload a file from your computer, which is a file type such as CSV or TXT file from your computer. Or alternatively, you can choose the copy paste, in which all you need to do is to copy and paste your contacts from your XLS file. Now going back on the left side panel, under the forms option, from here, you can create your first subscription form or you can customize your subscription form to grow for your audience and capture details to connect to a personal level. And other than that, you can also create your first unsubscription form and update your profile, in which from here, you can either edit or duplicate your profile. And aside from those options on the left side panel, you can also access the campaigns, automations, transactional, or even you can add more apps. However, if you go back to homepage and you click your profile, which is located on the top right corner, it will show you a different kind of option that you can choose. But if you want to create a senders and IP, just click senders and IP option, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here. And proceed by clicking the senders option. And from here, in order to add a sender, just click the blue button on the top right corner that says add a sender. And below, all you need to do is to fill out your name and your email address. And after that, just follow the several steps in order to successfully add a new sender. So that is how to use Bravo, Bravo tutorial for beginners. Thank you.